So what we're doing is creating a data dashboard. Um, essentially, it will be a tool um, for local administrators, schools, families, anyone in the local Durham area who wants to have information about the education system, specifically the public school system to use. It sort of compiles a bunch of data that we've gathered into an easily accessible format for anyone who wants to use it. For our projects, we are creating an interactive R-Shiny dashboard that explores Durham Public Schools in an asset-based lens. So within this dash dashboard, we have various variables about Durham Public Schools themselves. So that could be student-to-teacher ratio or the number of students in that school, as well as different geographical variables based on the school zones. So grocery stores or parks and variables like that. So our Data Plus team has been in existence for the last two years. We're in the middle of our third year. Um, and we just, the, the question came out of an asset needs assessment, which is kind of a term used in community schools to really do um, a deep listening project with their school communities to understand where the assets and the needs are in the school. Um, and so we replicated that here, right? And so our, the first year of our research, um, we, we spoke with Durham educators, we spoke with faculty at Duke and Central, and we spoke to students at Duke and Central to understand um, where the gaps were and how universities were relating to public schools. And one of, the, one of our hypotheses, and we were proven correct, was that there is a variation of how we are preparing students before they step foot into the field or IE schools, right? Um, and so an arm of that research was developing a data dashboard um, that could help students, initially was our audience, to understand public school communities before they step foot in them and to understand them through an asset-based perspective, right? So rather than understanding schools through deficits, free and reduced lunch, suspension rates, poverty indexes, is really understanding the communities for how rich they are. The foundation was laid three years ago, and every team that has worked on it has sort of iterated upon it, expanded it, and sort of made it more user-friendly, um, encompassing more schools. This year, we've actually encompassed it to all schools, so we have fully covered the Durham Public Schools system, the community schools that actually have a physical footprint. This summer, the team was really successful in um, A, figuring out the code, right, which hadn't been looked at in a real way since the summer prior, right? So that's like a thing that we need to ensure that there's continuity around, but they were able to figure out the code. One of our, the aspects of the site is we have an interactive map with all the resources available in the local area. Um, and what we've done this year is we've added pharmacies and homeless shelters. We've added a bunch of new variables for previous schools. If officially this summer we have included all the schools in the Durham community um, and these we have information such as like you know what AP classes they offer, what sports they offer, what like restaurants are nearby or like just general information that a parent or like a student or even teacher and faculty can use from that dashboard. We collected data on over 40 geospatial variables. So that included like variables such as like um, Wi-Fi access points, um, bachelor degree rate, or like diversity in a school. So that is all like comp like comprehends in like a dash like a little bar chart I guess. The rest of the map we decided to add like sports and we also decided to expand it this year on mainly looking at like the community impact. We added a page that serves as a connector role between Duke University, NCCU and Durham Public Schools. So if students or faculty are interested in um, participating in DPS facing initiatives and really getting involved with like Durham Public Schools, they can go to that page. Another kind of arm of this research is how we connect teaching, learning, research, and service that is happening um, at both of those institutions to the needs that come out of public schools, right? I was really interested to see like how this project would help like Durham community, Durham residents, anything like that, anything that Duke could do that could help. As a resident of Durham, um, as someone who's walked the streets that we're planning, who've attended the schools that we're talking about, um, it's just a, it's a, it's a different perspective and I think that's a particular way that I'm useful for this project. You know, it gives us a, gives like the parents, the students, the faculty a good overview of like where they're going or where they want to go and like it helps them navigate around, you know, the schools in Durham instead of actually going out and searching, you know. One of our schools um, has uh, given us some really wonderful feedback about using the dashboard 
for uh, especially new parents um, that are trying to better understand their communities around. Um, I think the, the feedback was around child care centers, um, where there was child care centers in their neighborhood. Um, and so they were able to use the dashboard to identify those places, the websites, where on a map they were located. Um, and so that was really cool. I feel like Duke really has a big priority on impacting like the community and bringing the community together because based on the faculty programs they seem very interested in bringing together like students either like middle school and high school and especially like targeting them to look at like high school and beyond and like career and beyond and I feel like those programs are really beneficial for any Durham like student.